Okay, so what we've got here is a dripping tap. See that? It's just constantly dripping. So most likely what's happened is that a washer has given way. You can see it's been dripping, made a bit of a mess down around here. So we need to pull the washers off. There's actually washers in behind both these taps and the water dripping out is cold. It's not hot, so it's probably a cold water washer. But we'll pull them both out and have a look. And uh, the first thing we need to do is turn the water on. Okay, so depending on whether you're in an apartment or a house or whatever, you need to find where the water supply comes into the house. And uh, here, we're out front of the house and just be here in line with the tap. This was actually all buried and covered, but in line with the tap in front of it, here's the water meter. And normally, here we go, right here, right where the little black grubs are, there's a tap. So if you're gonna use a hammer, do it very, very gently, but you need to turn that tap fully around. Here we go. And then we can check if it's off or not, right here. Yep. That water's off, which is exactly what we want. So you may be able to turn it by hand. This one I couldn't. So actually I'm gonna leave that on because any if there is a little bit coming past, it can leak out here and it'll mean it'll be totally dry inside the house. Okay, so we open this up to start with, make sure there's no pressure, nothing coming out. And then to get this apart, we actually undo this little nut on the top. Like that, just start it off. Let me open that. And then the tap head comes off. And then this bit here is just a, a friction fit. So we take that off and oh, we've got a bit of silicon. They're gonna have to get a knife and cut that away. I don't know why they've done that. I hope it's not a leak that they've covered up. But we'll get a knife, we'll cut away that silicon, and then we'll get a spanner onto there because we need to undo this part of the tap here. Okay, so now we need to undo this. This is the actual tap part. I'm going to do it in the anti clockwise direction. It's good to open the tap first to take any pressure off the washer. You just need a shifter or a spanner. I've got a wrench here. And um, just do it up tight. And then undo the tap just like that. And then it will come out of the wall. A little bit of water leaking out there. This silver part here is the part that goes in and out. As the tap comes in and out. And this here is the washer and well that's some of the washer that little black bit in there was supposed to come out as well that's the washer and that's supposed to be attached in there it doesn't look damaged maybe it had popped off the other thing to check if you have a look right inside um, there's a face in there I can feel it with my finger and um, if that face gets marked or damaged, you can, just from the hardware store, um, buy a little thing to flatten it out. But it's in perfect condition. So I don't believe that's what's caused the problem. Here we go. It was the hot water tap. Um, so you see this one here, this washer has totally come to pieces and that's it there. It's gone hard and it's a mess and uh, that's definitely what's causing the problem. Again, put your little finger in there and check the seat. Make sure the seat's all good, which it is, so we don't have to reseat it. Make sure there's no, nothing in there. All right, we'll get another washer and we'll switch it in. Okay, so here's the washer that was in the cold and it is quite squashed flat. You can see the rubber's pressed out past the edge of the white there. Here's a brand new washer. Uh, very, very similar style. There's lots of different styles of washer you can get. You can get them with leather, you can get them with rubber, flat, you can get them with O-rings. You see this one, how it's not squashed out past. Um, 
So while this one hasn't all fallen to pieces, it is pretty stretched. And then that's a brand new one, which obviously will fix the problem. So what we do, we put that back into the tap and insert it into here. Put the new one in and insert it into there. And then do it up. Getting that on nice and tight. And then we can do it up. So that's now back on. Just to show you how quick and easy that is, we then put the base back on. head goes back on and then the little cold water indicator goes back on and then we get our little pair of pliers give that a little nib up tight so it's not constantly falling off Anyone who thinks they can see a London bus right now, it could have something to do with the cameraman. But that's okay, a bit of fun for you. That's nice and tight. Okay, that's done. Brilliant. The one tip is make sure this is out a little bit so that when you tighten up the tap, you are actually tightening up the right thing. So that's all put back together and the little things are nibbed up. So now what we do, I've just turned both the taps off, had them open to install them and then turned them off. And then I'm gonna go back out the front and we'll turn the water back on. Okay, so we're back out front. We turn this tap back around. Oh, but then you gotta remember that we left that turned on. Turn that off, turn the tap back around. <laughs> there we go. And now we can actually just cover that back up again. And give her hands a wash because just had a little surprise shower and then reasonably quickly you want to go back in and check what's going on in the bathroom over the bar just in case we've forgotten something there and it has a little spray okay so here we go well I mean it's not dripping so it's not leaking but there'll be a little bit of air here we open that up open up the hole that'll just get the air out of the system and turn them off. No drips. Success. Well done.